this is the solution to written homework 7. <clears throat> uh, it gives a function and we're supposed to maximize uh, this function. So looking at this function and rewriting it just briefly we could write m of t is 6.281 and then multiplied by in the numerator t to 0 0.242 and in the denominator exponential of 0 0.25 t so I wrote it in the denominator because it has a negative exponent and the reason why I wrote it this way is so that we can intelligently guess about what's going to happen uh, before we do the calculus. So this is just a constant and this function has to be for t greater than zero because negative t doesn't make sense because the calf wouldn't have been born yet. So this this term, t to 0 0.242, is going to grow, at least initially, faster than the exponential term. But eventually, the exponential term will grow much faster than this term. And so the behavior, the expected behavior of this function, should be something like this. So at t is 0, it should be zero and then it will increase until the exponential function increases faster and then it will decay so that's our expectation and I wrote it, drew it open at zero because of this so this is our expectation about what should, should occur <coughs> So we're expecting that there should be some time here where there's a stationary point. So <clears throat> let's see if that occurs <clears throat> and let's construct a slope chart. So the first step in constructing a slope chart is to consider the natural domain. So that's t is greater than 0. <clears throat> 2, we need to find the stationary points. So I'll compute the derivative of this expression. The derivative of t is, well, this 6 just hangs out, so that's 6.281. And then <clears throat> we'll need to do the product rule, so it will be the derivative of t to 0 0.242 multiplied by exponential negative 0 0.25 t and then <clears throat> plus t to 0 0.242 derivative of exponential negative 0 0.25 t <clears throat> So then this will be 6.281. Now the derivative of this 
is 0 0.242 t and then the new exponent will be uh, 24758 <clears throat> so -0.758 exponential negative 0 0.25 t plus t 0 0.242 and now the derivative of this exponential 0 0.25 t multiplied by negative 0 0.25 So now, we need to factor this as much as possible. <clears throat> so 6.281. And then we can factor out this lowest power of t. So the, here's one power of t with a negative exponent. And here's another power of t with that uh, positive exponent. So we'll factor this one out. So that's t to negative 0 0.758. And we can also factor out this exponential because it occurs in both positions. So e to negative 0 0.25t. And then when we do that, what remains is 0 0.242. <clears throat> and then minus 0 0.25 and then the new exponent of t is 0 0.242 and then minus this much but the sum of those is just 1 <clears throat> so this is the derivative <clears throat> we need to check the domain was there any change in the domain when we did that? And the answer is no. So this factor, t to negative 0 0.785, cannot be evaluated at 0. It would cause a division by 0. However, we already uh, stated that the natural domain is positive number, so there's no change. So now we want to know, is there anywhere that the derivative is 0? And the answer is yes, whenever this factor is 0. So <clears throat> that is to say that 0.25t is equal to 0.242. So t is equal to 0 0.242 divided by 0 0.25. But division by 0 0.25 is the same as multiplication by 4. So that's t is what? Uh, 800, 968. So 0 0.968. So there's just the one point. So now let's make a chart. A slope chart. So we found just one point. zero point nine six eight and now we need a point we need a value between zero and point nine six eight <clears throat> so how about uh, zero point one and we need a value to the right of nine six eight so how about uh, one <clears throat> 
So if we plug this value into the derivative, that term is po this factor is positive, that factor is positive, that factor is positive, and this factor will also be positive. <clears throat> so it's positive, positive, positive. <clears throat> if we plug in 1, then this factor is positive, that factor is positive, and that factor is negative. So the overall sign in this region is positive, so it has positive slope. And the overall sign in this region is negative, so it has negative slope. <clears throat> Notice that our slope chart uh, looks just like we suspected it would. It indicates the same behavior that we were looking for, that we were expecting. So now we can make a conclusion. So maximum consumption occurs, so max occurs at t is 0 0.968 uh, with value m of 0 0.968, and now to do that, I'll need to get my calculator. So that value is 6.2881 multiplied by 0 0.968 to 0 0.242 times the exponential of negative 0 0.25 times 0 0.968 and the instructions don't say to how many decimal places so I'll do it to three places past uh, the decimal so 4.892 and that's the answer to the exercise